So one of the very first projects that I proposed to a prospective client was for an antique store. The way I got the project was over a weekend, I was at this store and I was dropping my business cards on all these tables, just thinking, you know, somebody might pick it up and, and call me about it. Well, Monday morning, the antique store calls me and my immediate thought, I'm like, oh no, <laughs> they're, they're thinking I'm just littered their store with my business cards and they're calling to yell at me or something. But um, I was pleasantly surprised. I'm like, hey, we found your business card and we want you to come in and talk to us about how you can help us build a website to sell online. So I was really excited, went over there, um, had a discussion with them, came back and gave them a proposal. Well, when I got to the page where I shared with them um, the price of the project, um, their faces um, changed. Like it went not from like, it wasn't like disinterested. It was almost like anger that I saw. They, it was really awkward. And, and like moments later, they're like, I can't believe you want to charge us that much money for, for this. I can get this way cheaper. And, and just like, just so you know, like this was not a big, like this was less than a thousand dollars. I was charging for a major e-commerce project with lots of like moving parts. Like I way underbid this project. And um, there wasn't all these, this was back in a time, there wasn't all these like really easy plug and play tools that you could put into place. So there's a lot of manual stuff. So I knew that, that what I was charging was a really awesome deal. In fact, I felt a little bit like I was undercharging and I, I kind of backpedaled for a minute and I was like, you know, feeling really bad about it. Like, gosh, like I was questioning whether or not, like, should I do this? Like, do I want to be in this business? Like, you know, like, you know, who am I to charge this amount of money? And like, I just, it was a really awful, just disgusting experience. Fast forward to a couple weeks later, um, I had a friend refer me to a concrete company um, and, uh, and they wanted a website and I gave them a proposal. And um, a couple days later, I got a call from my friend who had referred me and said, hey, you know, Mike, um, the great news, the concrete company's gonna hire you, but, um, but you know, I had to talk them into it. And I said, really, well, why is that? And they said, um, well, you were the cheapest bid that they got and they thought that maybe they weren't going to get everything that they requested that like maybe you'd somehow miss something and the only thing was the price like everything looked good but they were just going to hire somebody more expensive because they thought that maybe you were like not going to do the job the right way so so this person assured that i was going to do a great job and i ended up getting it and i just like thought for a moment these two very different experiences one where this person is telling me you guys are too expensive and the other one saying i'm not going to hire you because you're not expensive enough crazy right and so what you have to understand is there's different clients with different perspectives. And when you, what you, what the biggest mistake that I made in that scenario was taking the, the thought that I wasn't worth it, that I couldn't charge enough into that next proposal. I took that, I took that thought, that feeling of being not enough into that next proposal. And it showed. And the only reason I got the job was because somebody else vouched for me. Um, if I wasn't there, I totally wouldn't have got the job. So where in your business are you proposing something that's not expensive enough that isn't covering that's that's causing that client to think you know what like these people don't seem like they know what they're talking about because they know it should be more expensive than that like this just seems too cheap right and there are those businesses out there that they're not looking for the lowest dollar they're looking for the highest quality for the best price and if you give them the perspective that what you're offering is not not high quality because of your price, that's a big issue. And so that was a huge lesson for me. From that point on, I realized that by charging more, I'm giving more value. And then it allows me to spend the time, kind of time on a project that I need you to actually deliver that value. So look at your, look at your proposals. Are you charging enough? And where can you charge more? Because I know there's more money out there for you with the people that you're already talking to.